Yeah, here after our B section, some call them um, call it the pre-chorus. Some call them the middle eight. I call them. Some call them the. Um, let me see. Our chords there. So remember, we're doing this in a major scale, which is is going to be quite nice. I think that's that's probably more than enough for a nice bridge. I'm gonna use that that space there for our bridge. So let's add another one. M eight, our middle eight section. And then we're gonna have our chorus after that, which be very short or very long. I'm gonna make it that long for now. Uh, let's say chorus, and then obviously we're gonna have our little outro, which, like I said. It's good to be the same size of the intro. That's not a rule, it doesn't always apply. But I'm gonna do that in this song. Outro. Now, this is a basic structure. Intro, A, bridge 1, B, middle 8, bridge or pre-chorus, whatever you want to call it, chorus and outro. Now like I said, popular music, stuff that you hear on the radio, usually gives you loads of chorus. And the way they work, they go A, and then... Uh, Cor sometimes they, they even start with chorus so they don't have an intro most of them it's just chorus A then they go bri bridge or chorus again and then A2 which is just a small variation of A basically the same thing just an instrument or another changes or they change to a different root note or whatever and then chorus again and then B and then chorus, and then B, and then A, or chorus, 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 chorus. It's loads of chorus, so the, that the music sticks into your ear. Somet sometimes I usually I follow a bit of that principle, and what I do is I use bits of chorus in the bridge, in all the bridges. We only have one bridge in this song, then we have the middle light, which you can call it a bridge as well, because it's going to work as the same, basically the same thing, only it's going to have a, a different variation. I'm going to try to do some break beats or something like that here in the middle eight, at half tempo. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. So if we go in there and analyze what's going there, this A section is not just a normal A section, because right here, these two bits are teasers for what's coming next. They are teasers for these four bars. For these four patterns, I'm sorry. So we could call it B teaser, something like that. I don't want to get confused with all those parts. Sometimes it's good to be organized in that way. So let's do that. I'm going to call it. B teaser because it's teasing what's coming next now in our B section we also have a teaser because that's a normal bass for the B but then we have chorus teaser so we go. We call it the chorus teaser the 
chorus teaser. We know that those four bars are anticipating what's coming in the chorus. And this part here, it's a variation of the chorus teaser. Still in a B section, but what you could do is, I don't know, man, call it B2 or something like that. It's still in the B section, so I'm going to leave it as it is, really. <laughs> 